Hello, in today's video we'll be testing the knock sensors that I just removed on the Pontiac Trans Am that had a code P0327. This code triggers when it receives a low voltage or a no voltage reading from the front knock sensor. And the way they work is these knock sensors are tuned to detect knock or detonation and this vibration on the piezo crystal that they have inside, it generates voltage and the louder the knock or vibration is, the more voltage is generated. And this is the front knock sensor that I removed. As you can see, it's really rusted due to a common problem on these vehicles in which they allow water inside the knock sensor holes. But yet the other sensor, which is the rear sensor, still looks new. We'll start by testing the resistance value on these knock sensors to test if there's a problem with the internal resistor. To do this, you'll want to set your meter to measure resistance. Now you'll want to connect one lead to the knock sensor connection and connect the other to the knock sensor housing. And the good GM knock sensor will fall between 93 to 110,000 ohms of resistance. And this one is definitely reading as good. If you get an open reading or no reading, in other words OL on this meter, then the sensor should be replaced. As far as the resistance value, this knock sensor is testing as good. Now I'm going to test the voltage output from both the good and the bad knock sensors. See if we notice any problems. You'll need to set the meter to measure voltage, but for this meter I gotta click the function button to switch it from DC volts to measure AC volts. Next I'll mount the knock sensor on a vise so I can perform a knock test and see what voltage is produced by the knock sensors. And you want to clamp it on the area just above the threads so it doesn't damage them. Once again, making sure that the meter is on and on AC volts. First, I'll connect one lead to the knock sensor pin on top and the other lead hold it between the ground and the housing of the vise. Now I'll grab a hammer to recreate knocking next to the sensor to see what voltage is generated. So it seems like most of the readings I got were above 1 volt. Let's continue on to the sensor which is setting the code. Once again connecting the red lead to the top pin and the other to ground. While well, based on these tests, most of the readings were less than 10 millivolts, definitely a lot lower than the other knock sensor. So based on these results, it seems that the knock sensor is the problem on the car. These tests can also be performed while it's still in the car or truck, but you'll have to be able to reach the connector in the back. Let's simulate it here by connecting the wiring to the knock sensor and testing it with the connector attached. This is the connector you'll want to reach in the back. We'll match it to the color of the knock sensor it's connected to and put the red lead into the connector and the other lead to ground. And now we just tap anywhere that won't damage anything and check the readings. Now to replace the knock sensor. I prefer to replace it with the original AC Delco brand because I've had bad experiences with other brand knock sensors so I prefer the original. And the harness should also be replaced. The connector can rust and give you a bad contact or the wire can also get damaged by the heat or the intake. I'll have a video of the whole process of removing the intake, replacing the knock sensor, replacing gaskets and the install and how to prevent water from getting onto your new knock sensors linked at the top or at the end of the video. Well I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did please click that thumbs up button to support my video and my channel and please subscribe if you haven't done so.